So, uh, because of uh, some events uh, in this country uh, in the last uh, week or so, uh, I have been thinking about religion again. And I'm not an atheist. Um, you know, uh, atheism is an interesting hypothesis, but uh, I don't think it would account the fact that there is this really wonderful world. You know, the, that the world exists uh, is really interesting. And a scientific method is, of course, wonderful. And it, um, you know, um, clarifies many things about uh, the e existence that we are enjoying or suffering. And, you know, um, but um, I, I'm a scientist and I love uh, logic and I love empirical evidence. But having said that, uh, I, I, don't the, I don't think the enigma of time, for example, can be explained away uh, by uh, physical uh, theories and so on. Uh, and so I, I think there's uh, open possibility that um, there is something uh, about this world that we don't still understand, and we may call that God. And as I have, o o you know, already always uh, ref been referring to uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein's last word, um, uh, of which we cannot speak uh, of that, uh, we should remain silent. Uh, it's a beautiful statement about God, but the problem is that. Uh, oh, most of the organized religions in this world are trivial in terms of intellectual depth and implications. And uh, in the last week, we have seen in Japan the toxic, um, you know, uh, effects of uh, such a religious uh, organization on ordinary people, and that is sad. But uh, that is not actually uh, something that uh, we should be concerned about when we, uh, you know seek uh, absolute truth, if there's anything absolute in this world. And, you know, um, so that's why I'm not, although I do enjoy the arguments from atheists like Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens and um, Ricky Chavez and all these wonderful people, um, uh, you know, uh, I don't agree with them completely because they are k kind of making a straw man of trivial religious beliefs. And of, of course, it's really easy to attack these religious beliefs. And, uh, you know, uh, but that, that's trivial uh, for, from my point of view. Being an atheist uh, might sound like the default uh, position for intellectuals in this world at this time, but uh, that, that they seem to be rather trivial. And uh, I believe that religious thinkers, I mean, religious philosophy, uh, uh, has dealt with uh, that uh, kind of Sturman attack strategy in the past. And, you know, um, the core value of religion, I think, is something more subtle, something more uh, intellectual, something more uh, complicated than that. And uh, to just to attack uh, those, uh, you know, trivial uh, manifestations of uh, spirituality would uh, not do a great service to the evolution of humans uh, as a whole. So, you know, I, as a scientist, um, I'm considered, uh, concerned with uh, considering more subtle, um, in-depth points about uh, religion or the possibility of religion. And I think that the solution of the mind-brain problem, how uh, neural activities would give rise to qualia and intentionality and self-consciousness and so on, would have uh, something to do with that aspect. I mean, I mean if we solve the mind-brain problem, uh, we might actually get closer to the truth. Um, at the, the time I was at the title of the program that I once appeared, Cruiser to truth. Um, being an artist and you know bashing uh, religion, trivial religion, trivial, trivial forms of religion, uh, from uh, the so-called rational point of view, would not help very much in that journey. So I would very much like to uh, hear from people who uh, would take religion in this sense seriously, uh, not. Uh, about these trivial, uh, you know, sectarian uh, teachings that are rampant in this world at this time, but a really open investigation and logical thinking about what gives rise to this wonderful world. Uh, you know, it's 
it's it's enigmatic and time is enigmatic the fact that we have consciousness is enigmatic that the world exists at all is enigmatic and you know but we shouldn't st st stop there because that this is an existential question uh you know why we are here and we should always have a sense of humor as well because a sense of humor is always uh, helpful in establishing metacognition about these existential investigations so um you know we need a, a balanced approach to this but anyway um you know i'm speaking this because of the, some events in this country after mr Herbert's um, assassination unfortunate uh, ending to his life uh, you know about a week or so ago and you know the japanese media have been covering uh, some you know aspects of religion in this world and i have been thinking too and uh, of course uh, trivially uh, toxic uh, aspects of uh, religion should be taken care of i mean we should as a society think about that but uh, at the same time i don't think negation of religion from the so-called atheist point of view would be the final answer and we need to th keep thinking and that is my thought today in on the island of yakushima kagoshima prefecture japan i am actually uh, the principal of the high school based here uh, it does 10,000 students and you know it's a thriving a uh, really wonderful high school. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's a correspondence-based high school with some schoolings, uh, real, you know, interactive schoolings, uh, everywhere in Japan and also in this on this island. And I have been the principal of that high school, as well as you know, a neuroscientist and broadcaster and researcher and so on, uh, since uh, April two thousand twenty-one. So that's why I'm on the island of Yakushima. Anyway, these are my thoughts this morning, and I hope we probably we can collaborate with you know all over the world uh, about this Im important investigation of spirit human spirituality. That's all from from me. Thank you.